Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com and today let's do some gesture drawing. Now in the past we've talked about doing gesture drawing from various anatomical resources. Well, sometimes you just want to draw a barbarian, right? So let's jump over to this website, Sketchfab. This is really neat because instead of just a picture of somebody's 3D artwork, it's actually an interactive model. So here I found this barbarian, naturally, by artist Tosh Su, and I can make this full screen and move around to find a neat angle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just find a cool angle, do Alt, Print Screen, and I'll tab back into Photoshop and paste it in place. Now you'll notice it only pasted on half of my document, and this is the second important part. So I'll get him kinda in the right spot there. Cool. What I've done is I've set up a document that is just for gesture sketching. I know I want the reference on the left, my image on the right, so what I've set up is a folder called ref, and you can see it has a layer mask on this whole group. So anything I put in this group is only gonna show up on the left side of the screen. So I'll collapse that for now. Now the next important part is where I draw. So I wanna draw underneath this, so I only draw on the right side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make empty folders. I'm gonna make a bunch of empty folders, and each one of these is gonna represent a single gesture. So maybe seven is not even enough, but for this video, it would be fine. Okay. And now I'll just select group one, and I'm gonna start drawing. Now the reason I do this is because, as you'll see here, I'm using more than a single layer. So as I start sketching him in here, I don't have to worry about layer management. Because really, the whole point of gesture sketching is to do a bit of a warm up and to learn something. And I don't wanna focus on Photoshop right now. What I wanna focus on is getting the angles right and kind of thinking about his anatomy. And if I'm worrying about, you know, which layer am I on? Am I gonna kind of mess up my reference? Then I'm in the wrong headspace. Now, a gesture can mean different things for different people. So you are the one setting the rules. You're trying to learn, not make a beautiful image. So for this big line here that represents his ax, I'm actually gonna make a new layer knock that in because I might not get it quite right the first time. That looks pretty good. So I like to think in those big shapes and then cut out you know, smaller ones out of them so you get the big envelope first and then you get the more specific details. And maybe this is enough. You, know, uh, you don't need to take a long time with these gestures. That's the whole point of this assignment was that group one is my first sketch, so I'll hide that one. And now it's time to make my next one, which will take place in group two. So we jump back here to the nice uh, 3D view. And now let's pick a more challenging angle, something that you might have a hard time imagining. Maybe I'll do a profile. Yeah, like that's a tricky shot. Nice foreshortening happening there. So now I go back to my reference folder, highlight that, paste it in place, Oops, didn't get in there. There we are. Get it the right size. And now I'm ready to go. So at this point, I'll go to group two and I'll start drawing straight away. The whole reason setting up a folder structure ahead of time like that is that it takes me just a few seconds to get to the drawing. And that's really the important takeaway. Because if you're doing these in the more traditional way, you have a sketchbook out, uh, models doing maybe 30 second poses or one minute poses and it's all about just rapid fire drawing you're focusing on the drawing not the type of sketchbook you have or like the the beauty of your marks and so if you're going to do this digitally you have to have a similar system one where it really allows you to focus on the drawing itself and not get bogged down with you know the various uh, technical aspects of it so it might even be that you make yourself a template that allows you to um, just have this document ready to go. Then all you do is you grab your reference and you're off drawing. Now this barbarian was really just an example. In fact, the way I found it was just to go to the main page here, choose characters, and you get these really nice staff picks. There's a lot here. You'll also find Sketchfab models embedded into other websites. For instance, I first saw these when I was browsing ArtStation. So it should be said, these will not teach you perfect anatomy. You're looking at somebody else's art. It's like doing a master study. 
But I'd argue that being able to do a master study that happens to be this really awesome 3D viewport is pretty neat because it really does allow you to experiment with different angles and to draw something that would have been harder to find photo reference for. So get out there, draw some gestures. It is a fun exercise. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.